Aww. Hello, everybody. I just happened to have this sweet little doggy. Got up in my chair and almost sat on him. I wanted to just share a little something with you that somebody sent to me in my cell phone. And so I clicked on the link and it says, um, now, now this is, this is why what they want to do will be such a good thing. It says, vaccinated, show us your app. You see, you'll be able to put it on your cell phone. COVID-19 health pass apps could help reopen businesses and restore the economy, you know, so we can buy and sell again. They could also unfairly exclude people from travel and workplaces. Well, I wonder why that would be. Access more of the times by creating a free account. Oh, I thought it would give me more. Okay. Peter Vlaitis, a travel industry executive, holding up the health passport app, Common Pass, it's called. It's a little dark in here. I'm sorry. I got my lamps on it. Oh, well. Um, yeah, look at you. Yeah, there's my doggie. United and other airlines are preparing to use the app to confirm that passengers have negative coronavirus results. See, if you get tested and you're negative, then you can put it on your app also. And that way you can not worry about if you have to get on a plane, you know, right quick and fly to a funeral or something. All right. Um, um, this is by Natasha Singer. Among all the tools that health agencies have developed over the years to fight epidemics, at least one has remained constant for more than a century. Paper vaccination certificates. See, this is not a new thing. It's just something a little more modern, putting it on your app, on your cell phone, you know? Yeah, it's real cool, huh? Okay, in the 1880s, in response to smallpox outbreaks, some public schools began requiring students and teachers to show vaccination cards. Now, it's my understanding that the second part of the vaccination will be very much like the smallpox shot, where it had several little needles, and they, I remember seeing pictures of the, the nurse would stick her thumb through it. Th these were a little different than what, what's coming down the road. Uh, they were metal. They stuck their finger, their thumbs through it and pushed it into their arm and it left several little holes where the medicine went in and it left a scar on them. But, you know, it stopped the smallpox uh, outbreak. So that's what they say, you know. And so in the 1880s, in response to smallpox outbreaks, some, okay, I read that. In the 1960s, amid yellow fever epidemics, the World Health Organization introduced an international travel document. Where'd you go, Jasper? Okay, uh... Even now, travelers from certain regions are required to show a version of the card at airports. Okay, then it says show full article. Now, how do you pull this up? Um, let's see, who put it out? What should, oh, the New York Times. Oh, they're, they're really big, top-notch, believable reporters, so you can believe it. 
Okay. New the New York Times. So I guess if you went to the New York Times on your computer or your cell phone and you typed in vaccinated, show us your app, it would should pull it up. Okay. Well, we kind of knew that was coming, but I just wanted to share what somebody sent while I was showing you my little puppy dog. Yeah, isn't he precious? Say goodbye. Woof, woof. Talk to you later.